Beautiful shot from our buddy Adam. Welcome back to the show. The second someone leaves a reality TV show, they go on to live a long and healthy uh, career as an influencer, including Hannah Ann from Peter's season of The Bachelor. Recently, she teamed up with Duncan Hines to make some epic s'mores brownies. But let's just say the final product, oh my goodness, the final product probably wasn't as good as the company had hoped, but since they paid her to make them, they posted the, the finished product anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay, now that's competing for my favorite photo of the day. Uh, these disastrous brownies really struck a chord with one fan of Bachelor Nation and uh, a member of our family. She's a kid baking champion. Please welcome back to the show, baking wizard, it's Paige. Hi, Paige. Okay, Paige. Paige, uh, you're a big you're a big Bachelor fan, right? I am. I very much am. Oh, so, pa- so what? You know, what's her? What's the problem? What's the problem with those brownies, Paige? Okay, so I was scrolling through my Instagram feed. It was normal. I don't even remember when they posted it, but it was a normal day. And I'm scrolling through my Instagram feed, and all of a sudden, I see Hannah Ann. And I'm like, oh, it's probably a bachelor promotion. It's not. Uh, I looked at the Duncan Hines tag. I was like, what happened here? And so I was, I looked at them and you know, when you look at them at first glance, they look really good. I have, I love, I love the use of the skillet Mm -hmm. for her food styling, real campfire vibes, real rustic feel. I love it. Um, then if you look any closer than just the initial scroll, that's when you can see some actual problems. So uh, the fudge, if I actually bought the box. I bought the mix <laughs> because I wanted to try them myself, and I did. And I have to commend Duncan Hines. It's actually a, it's a good mix. Well- they actually tasted pretty good. But then, and it comes with everything you need, some crushed up graham crackers, brownie mix, marshmallows, and then this fudge drizzle. It's in this little packet, and this is where Hannah Ann, I believe, went the most wrong with her presentation. Because if you look at like the main one in one of the other photos, it's like on a quarter of the brownie and it just looks really sloppy. So her biggest brownie sin was the drizzle. Was this drizzle. Okay. And the other thing, this is six dollars, Jason. Yeah. This one box is six dollars. That's a big I mean, that that box looks is that bigger page than a normal box? Yeah. Or, yeah. It's a bigger box than normal because it includes everything, but this isn't this is like a packet, uh, like a, bu- a little bag of crushed up graham crackers and maybe a quarter, three quarters of a cup of marshmallows and then just a brownie mix. So what did, like you, you, what did you do? So you took it and you Frankenstein it up. How, so I did. how do you actually make it good? So what did you do? So I made like a semi homemade version of it for less than half the price. So I just got regular graham crackers from the store. Okay. And you pulverize those in a blender, or if you need to get some anger out, if you're really stressed during these times, you (laughs) put them in a Ziploc bag and you whack them with a rolling pin. Um, And then you mix them with sugar and about six tablespoons of melted butter. And then you pour it into a brownie pan and press it down with a glass cup, like the flat end of a glass cup. Okay. And so that's the crust. Now we just have some brownie box mix. I'm not gonna lie, for being a baker who likes to make everything homemade, brownies are the one thing I will continue to make from a box. Because there's not not a lot of difference, Paige? No. Okay, good to know. They're just infinitely better, in Got my it. opinion. And then you just want to pour all of that batter onto the crust. And it's a little thick, so it'll take a while. But once you get most of it out, you can start to spread it around. Okay. This seems, the- I can do, this seems pretty easy so far. I think we can do it's this. very easy. And then 
once you get all of the batter in there, okay. you want to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. Okay. And then at the very end, you want to increase the temperature on your oven and you want to, to about 400 or if you have a broiler setting on your oven, you can just put the broiler on low and you want to take your marshmallows and just sprinkle those on top and then put them back in the oven for three to four minutes until they get nice and golden brown and toasty. And after that, this is my, this is my pre-made version. I did give it to Hannah Ann and I used a skillet. Because <laughs> I happened to have one. And once these are baked and all the brownies are, and the marshmallows are nice and toasty, you get something like that. Oh, that looks, that looks far superior to Hannah Ann's. And, and in today's COVID times where you don't want, if you don't want to share everything, yeah. Yeah. you can just make them in a cupcake pan. Oh, that way you don't have to, t every, you're not touching everyone's food. You're not touching everyone's food. They're nice and bite-sized and portable. What is, Paige, in general, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but you were mentioning brownie mix and how it's the one thing that you would use in lieu of homemade. Um, as far, if someone has like a cake mix box, everyone does in their kitchen, is there a way, Paige, is there an easy way or a, a couple things that people can do to zhuzh it up a little bit to make even a box cake a little bit better or seem more homemade? Mm -hmm. So the one thing, if you, um, if you want to make your recipe a little bit richer for brownies you usually use whole eggs but for some cake mixes or other box mixes like that they'll ask you to use only egg whites and if you want to make your cake a little richer a little more moist use um so if they say use three egg whites just use two whole eggs oh. add that yolk in for a bit more richness and texture and if it uses water use buttermilk or just regular milk to okay. really enhance that richness. We have one more picture of the finished product. Go ahead, Ted, put it up, Leo. Look at that. Now that's drizzle, Paige. Now that's, 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 that's drizzle. That is, that is drizzle. Look at, oh my God, I'm hungry. Paige, thank you. Good to see you. Can't wait to have you back in the studio. Thank you. Bye, Jason. Bye. For more, follow her on the gram to search for Pagey Bakes. I love that. Pagey Bakes. We'll be, we're going to take a break. We're going to talk about sitcoms and why we're canceling our Rolling Stone subscription when we come back. Back in a moment. That looks good.